So yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to my first tutorial on the media channel. If you guys are new here, I'm Jack Mould and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do this cool wave wipe transition that Sam Cotter used in his Hawaii V1.0 video. <laughs> So as you guys can see, it's really, really cool. So let's head over, hop into Premiere Pro, and I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it. So now that we have a brand new project right here, pretty much what I've done is I've gone ahead, I've downloaded Sam Calder's video. So we're gonna click on this and we're gonna drag it over here in to the sequence. So basically guys, I don't actually have any uh, clips of me jumping into water or anything. So I'm just gonna be taking the wave out of Sam Calder's video and putting it into my own video. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna come and you wanna find the wave transition, wherever that is, as you can see, it's right here. We're pretty much going to hit C, we're going to cut here, delete this. You can just click on here to delete this big black space. And now if we play it, we've got the wave transition right there. So now that's gone, we can click C again, cut it right there, and delete this. Okay, so now basically we've pretty much got the wave. What we need to do is we need to pretty much just cut everything out apart from this wave. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that right now. So basically to make this a little bit easier for us, we're going to come over to here, click on Fit and put it on to about 75 just so it's a little bit smaller we've got a little bit more space to work around right here so before you guys do anything you want to click alt click the clip drag it up and you've copied the clip <clears throat> so now that you guys have copied the clip we're going to click on the top clip we're going to come over here to opacity in the effects control click on the mask and we're going to just simply draw a mask around the wave don't go too crazy but you know just add a few points like this really really simple so as you can see we've got the wrong part of the mask kind of uh, masked out so we're going to come over here click invert mask and there we go now what you want to do is you can toggle this on just so you can sort of see where um, the mask kind of comes around here so you can sort of see what's going on so we're going to come over to the mask we're going to click on this little stopwatch right here and what that's going to do is it's going to keyframe it so what the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go back one keyframe to where there's obviously absolutely no mask so what we want to do is just come over here highlight all of these bottom points and just drag it down so now we can go forward a frame and it will be right there so we're going to keep going we're going to go forward another frame and basically just drag these up just just drag these up if you really need to you can sort of just adjust it just so it kind of covers up the wave make sure you kind of get not too close so we've got a little bit of room to work with right here it looks pretty good for this frame and you're basically going to do that for every single frame that comes into the clip. So I'm going to speed it up right now and I'll come back once we've done this first bit. So now that we put a mask on this side, we've keyframed it, it looks pretty good. We're going to head over to the other side where the wave comes down. You want to find the first frame. So this is the first frame where the wave comes down. We're going to do the exact same. We're just going to mask it around here and keyframe it. So I'm going to speed that up and I'll get back to you guys. So now that you guys have done that, you should have something that looks a little bit like this, kind of like a hard wave coming in, coming out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click on the top layer, we're going to click on the mask, and we're going to go down to the feather. So I normally come over to here to this little point right here, and you can kind of just adjust it how you want. So we're going to skip through a few frames. Let's go to about here where we can kind of start to see it. Um, basically what you want to do is you just want to adjust it to how you think it will look good. So I'm going to so a little bit bring this out a little bit and I would say that looks fairly decent let's have a look at that so let's see click here press play and it looks pretty good I might make a couple adjustments to the mask like here not really too keen on this white bit so I think I'm maybe gonna get rid of the white bit I would say that looks pretty good like that uh, and again on this this frame right here we're just going to take out this white bit. I don't think it looks very nice. This next one. I think that looks pretty decent now. So guys, I did, I did forget to say, basically, in between this big gap right here, you do want to add one keyframe. Otherwise, this is just going to keep going down. So basically, you just add a keyframe here. So it's like this. And then it will just kind of go back down. So it, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. We're going to cut out this bottom frame. You should have something that looks a little bit like this. I think that looks pretty good. Now what you need is some footage, we're going to add a little bit of footage in and add the wave transition. So guys, basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on this bottom layer, we're going to unlink the track just so we can keep the track. I'm going to click here and I'm going to delete this layer right here. 
And so now we should just have the wave simple. Make sure you toggle this layer so you can see it. We're going to grab some footage. So basically, I have some stock footage right here of a guy jumping into some water, and I have a clip that I filmed of my friend Mike. We're going to add them together. Okay, so obviously, after you've mastered it, you're probably going to have this little thing right here. Up here, you're going to have this. Just to get rid of that, you want to click here, adjustment layer, click on OK, add this adjustment layer on top, pull it out of that. We're going to go up to the effects over here, and we're going to search for the crop tool, drag this crop tool onto the adjustment layer, and if you click here, you have the top, just crop in until it kind of covers that. So that's 15%. We're going to go to the bottom one, and we're just going to put 15% on the bottom two, just so it looks the exact same. Okay, so basically, you want to just time this clip of you jumping into the water with the wave. Okay, guys, so now that I've timed that up, I think this should look pretty good. I'm going to come over here. You want to grab your other clip. So I'm going to put this clip right. So if you grab these two layers, we can push them up a little bit and just drag this over to here. It should look pretty good. Okay, so now that you've lined these clips up here, you guys should have a really cool wave transition. So let's hit play and check it out. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe. If you're new, if you want to see more, let me know. And hopefully I will see you guys in another video soon. Peace out.